There are many creatures on Earth that are considered deadly to humans. Arguably the most deadly is other humans. Coming in a close second are microbes, creatures we can't even see but cause most deadly diseases. We know all this, but what many people don't know is that the world's most venomous marine animal thrives in habitats occupied by humans, is incredibly hard to spot, and has enough venom to kill multiple adults. Nearly 100 people die each year from injuries caused by the box jellyfish. When determining how deadly a venomous creature is, you generally want to take two metrics into consideration. Number one, how many people can an ounce of venom kill? Number two, the length of time it will take for the person to die after being bitten, or in this case, stung. When looking at both metrics, the box jellyfish takes the cake. Coming in at an average weight of 4.4 pounds, just a single box jellyfish has the ability to kill 60 adults. There are notable physical differences between box jellyfish and other jellyfish species. Rather than the usual dome shape we see with most species, the box jellyfish is shaped more like a boxy umbrella. Their design helps them move much more effectively than any other jellyfish species. From each of their four lower corners hangs a short stalk, which bears one or more hollow tentacles. Similar to other jellyfish, the tentacles are what you need to worry about. Some subspecies of box jellyfish have tentacles that are 10 feet long, while others, like the subspecies Irukandji, are small enough to fit on a quarter. The Irukandji are the smallest, most venomous box jellyfish in the world. Box jellyfish are one of few species of jellyfish that have eyes, 24 of them to be exact. They are able to distinguish between light and dark and make it possible for them to find their prey. Where do box jellyfish live? Box jellyfish can be found in just about any warm coastal region. Various subspecies can be found in areas of tropic or subtropic oceans, including the Atlantic to East Pacific, with some subspecies reaching as far north as California. Traditionally, box jellyfish are most common to Australia, Hawaii, and as of recently, Florida. If you're ever unfortunate enough to find yourself stung by a box jellyfish, you'll know it. Symptoms of a sting include excruciating pain, itching, rashes, and welts. If left untreated, you'll begin to experience nausea, diarrhea, swelling lymph nodes, muscle spasms, coma, and even sometimes death. Once a tentacle of the box jellyfish attaches itself, it then pumps nematocysts with venom into the skin. This is what causes the sting and agonizing pain. Pouring vinegar onto the sting area will deactivate the nematocysts that have not attached and prevent further stings. Once this has been done, the tentacles should be removed with a glove or towel. This should be done with extreme caution. Removing the tentacles could cause unfired nematocysts to fire, causing more stinging. If you plan on swimming in the ocean and no box jellyfish have been spotted in the area, a great defense is, unexpectedly, to wear pantyhose. The box jellyfish stingers are triggered by skin contact, and the pantyhose provide just enough buffer to potentially save your life.